Sky 5 over the scene of a pro-Palestinian protest and so-called die-in at Harvard. At one point, a confrontation breaking out. Let them live. Let Gaza live. Once on the campus of Harvard Business School, they were met by a group of students holding up the flag of Israel. Took out the flag of Israel, got yelled at, insulted in English and Arabic got told that I was a murderer. Raphael Marek says his mother and sister are in Tel Aviv living in a bomb shelter. He was on his way to class when he learned about the protests. These demonstrations are not about peace. They're not about empathy. They're not about solutions. They're about erasing one people and replacing it with another. Israeli students say this is a humanitarian crisis, but not a political one. The war that Israel is conducting is against the terrorist organization Hamas. It's not against the people of Gaza or against the Arabs or even against the Muslims. The students say protests like these are frustrating. To see these orga student organizations, fellow classmates and other students from Harvard reacting the way they react, calling for the, for the destruction of Israel is very frustrating. It's very hard to live here like that. Now, last week, Harvard did face some controversy when student groups blamed Israel for the attack by Hamas. Also, today, former President Barack Obama, he was set to speak here at Harvard today, but canceled with COVID-like symptoms. We're live here in Cambridge. Sharman Skitty, WCVB News Center 5.